Welcome back. World Menopause Day is celebrated on October 18th, but here on ENC3, we're celebrating it a little early. It's said that by 2025, an estimated 1.1 billion women will be experiencing menopause, or the so-called change, as it's frequently called. It's not a disease or a mental health condition, but a natural part of aging, the aging process that we do not talk enough about. So I have Kirsten Moore and Carol Torin here to do exactly that and let you know about an awesome gallery exhibit to bring awareness called M is for Menopause Baby that's coming to Rocky Mound. So exactly what made you want to do an event like this? So actually um, it's based on personal experience for me. I had a hysterectomy some years ago and I felt that I was unprepared for that experience. So I wanted to make sure that other people uh, were better prepared than I was. Amen to that. And mm -hmm. what's your story you'd well, like to share? Um, I am one of those individuals who is going through early menopause. Mm -hmm. And so when Carol came to me about this exhibition, I was really passionate to be able to support her story and to support my own. And the so many women who don't have a voice when it comes yes. to this change in their life. Absolutely. And when I got your email about this event, I got so excited because I was actually diagnosed with premature ovarian failure and early menopause when I was 33 after going through symptoms since my late early uh, mid late 20s so and I remember like I didn't know what to do I was like who do I go to like everybody that I know is not necessarily experiencing the same menopausal experience that I am so this is really really fantastic and then um, where how did you make it the idea come to life so we started working on a plan together and then um, she and I have it helped that plan to evolve mm -hmm. to be what it is now. How long did it take to plan? Started in February. Okay, so, so quite a few months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when people come out to M is for menopause baby, what is it, what, what are they going to see? What are they going to hear? What are they going to experience? So um, our goal was to get 51 pieces of artwork from local NC artists because 51 is the average age that women will go through the menopause change. Mm -hmm. And we were able to get that. So um, coming to the Rocky Mount Mills uh, campus, you will find those 51 pieces of art displayed. Mm -hmm. We also have over 10 programs and associated events that are going along with the exhibition mm -hmm. throughout the month of October and November. Uh, this is a comedy, we have a comedy show, we have um, an event at the farmer's market talking about nutrition and menopause yes. by uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Joanna Gobber, who mm -hmm. will be our uh, menopause expert mm -hmm. throughout the month. Um, she's doing a couple of uh, different programs and events mm -hmm. with us, so um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it sounds like you're really wonderful. covering the bases because I think with menopause, after all that you go through in terms of the symptoms, which we'll, we'll get to in a second, but I think sometimes it's so rough that sometimes the comedy aspect, you really need it. Really yeah. do. Laughter really is the best medicine. Yes, especially when you're going through <laughs> exactly. it. And then also the programs just range. And then in terms of nutrition, I'm really glad that you're bringing that up because mm -hmm. you do have to go changing the way that you mm -hmm. eat. And a lot of people don't know that. Yep. And um, Dr. Joanna has been great at really being a support since February mm -hmm. on helping us to coordinate the right information and to connect with the right people mm -hmm. to be able to provide a full spectrum of yeah. you know support through these events. Absolutely because menopause really is just such a range of different symptoms like I mean the biggie is the night sweats, the hot mm -hmm. flashes, the mood swings, the depression, the anxiety, the hair loss, the I mean even some of the most random things that you never even think of are, are on the list. Mm -hmm. So it's really great that you're doing this. And then there's actually um, a survey that was released in the UK that I think is awesome to go sharing back in 2022. A survey for 2,000 women between the ages of 46 and 60. Nine in 10 women experience mental health problems during menopause and eight out of 10 say they didn't discuss the issues with their partner or their spouse. And I think that right now, the fact that we're being so open about our experiences and we're having that discussion is what's gonna help so many other people. Absolutely. And so you want to just walk us through the artwork and, and tell us maybe the inspiration. First, we're going to do the Divine Awakening one, and that's actually made by Kirsten Moore herself. Yeah, so um, this piece is a mixed media uh, piece that's made with recycled magazines ripped up. 
uh, that's how I do most of uh, my pieces. Um, it is that moment of clarity. Maybe you have, you're stuck in the darkness or mm -hmm. you have gone through all this stuff, but you have that moment that I am just me and I will just be, and you have peace with that. And yeah. so this painting is kind of trying to capture that mm -hmm. breath, release of breath of air, you know, that you have yeah. um, during that. Absolutely, and we have a few more pieces that we want to go talking about because it's important. The first one is, it's hot in here. And Carol, this is actually your artwork. It is, and this is a painting of a woman who's experiencing a hot flash, mm -hmm. and all of the colors around her are cooling, and then actually with this particular painting, I put faceless women on her arms and back oh, as well. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the back of her head and, and also her back. Wow. And then we have one more to show you, and it's Queens, and it's by a different artist who you're going to go seeing. Yes. Tell us about this one. So Queens is by Corliss R. Owen, and Corliss is a folk artist. She's been painting for over 60 years, and this is a celebration of women of color. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's just amazing to make it so inclusive to all the women out there. No matter what walk of life you are, you're going to go through menopause. You're not going to miss it in any shape or form. And you're, you're going to know when it comes. But uh, once again, for people who are interested in checking out this event, M is for Menopause Baby. Where is it taking place? The dates and the times? Okay. So it's taking place at Rocky Mount Mills, and it's October the 18th through November the 15th. Okay. Is it free or does it cost anything to view? It's free. Everything's free and open to the public. Thank you so much for okay. doing this. And thank, thank you. you for getting the discussion going. Thank and you. you know, I just want all our viewers to know that if there's anybody out there who is struggling, we're all here for you. Message us, check out the event, and uh, let's support each other. We have more ENC at 3 coming your way right after the break. <laughs>